I'm Adrian Gobriel on Lake Simcoe, where hundreds of boaters hope to hit the open water and enjoy this long weekend. Though a fatal crash, a boat crash in cottage country last weekend is still top of mind for many. Canadian multimillionaire Kevin O'Leary was on board one of two boats that crashed on Lake Joseph last Saturday night. And today the OPP say they're still looking into what took place and they say that their investigation has been slightly delayed. They've been wanting to get out on the lake to reconstruct the incident though the weather has not been cooperating. They are doing uh, forensic uh, testing on the vessels, um, meaning, um, you know, the damages, like a, a reconstruction of the scene, uh, in essence, involving vessels. So that becomes a little bit more complex because we're talking about, you know, the waterways and then you have to have cooperation weather and water conditions to be similar to that of the night that it occurred. Two boats collided at 11.30 p.m. near Seguin Township last Saturday. 64-year-old Gary Poltash from Florida was killed, as well as 48-year-old Susanna Brito from Uxbridge. Kevin O'Leary has confirmed he was on one of the boats and claims to be fully cooperating with the investigation. Police say they've received multiple calls from witnesses and are still investigating if alcohol was a factor. Today, City News spoke with a marine accident reconstruction expert who highlighted the challenges facing police. There's a question as to whether or not uh, either of the boats had any lights on, particularly the one that uh, had the two fatalities. Uh, and that's going to be looked into very closely by the OPP. They all look into the aspect about uh, the filaments, particularly on the bow light, to determine if that light was in fact activated at the time. The uh, starboard side of the one vessel was obviously severely damaged, which suggests that the opposing vessel came from the right-hand side, and that particular vessel would have had to yield to the boat that it did strike. Today, Susanna Brito's family put out a brief statement saying, in part, our family wishes to express our gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from police first responders, the medical community, our friends and the entire Uxbridge community following the tragic death of our wife, mother, daughter and sister, Susanna Brito. The Uxbridge resident was a mother of three, age 12, 11 and 9. She'll be laid to rest tomorrow.